Well, that must be the right doses, depending, of course, on the bulb being meant as the root of tears. The following ingredients are in the vial. Two parts, root of tears. Ketchup is made of tomatoes. Tomatoes belong to the nightshade family. That could be the connection to the blood of the night reference. I'll try it. A few drops of the intoxication. Five parts from the source of life. Got it. Hopefully this witch's brew doesn't blow up in my face. I have no idea when the stuff is ready. But before it all evaporates... Evaporate? That's it. To be taken before it unites with the wind. Then the medicine must be finished. I wouldn't drink that for all the money in the world. I hope it helps the old man, though. Drink, old man. I hope that helps. Th thanks. My pleasure. What happened? A little difference of opinion with the guards. Guards? From the research station? Yes, I... Oh, it's not important. Not so important? You nearly died! But I'm alive. And you aren't just here to help me, are you? You have some questions. Yes. How did you know? Your eyes betray you. The eyes betray everyone. And your eyes. I know your eyes. They were here once a long time ago. Me? I was most certainly not. Yes, they were. But they weren't in the body of a young woman. You're the daughter of... What was his name again? Vladimir Kalenkow? You know my father? Yes. Vladimir was his name. He came to me back then, like you are today, with the same eyes. I need your help. If you knew my father, then you can also tell me what happened here all those years ago. I'm only a shepherd. I've always been a shepherd, and I will remain a shepherd for the rest of my life. But... I know my place in life, and you should know yours, too. Listen to the words of a simple man. My son didn't listen to me. What do you mean? You want to know what happened here almost fifty years ago, and what is happening here today. My son was also curious. He didn't want to listen to me. He found a strange piece of metal in the woods, and he asked questions. The wrong questions to the wrong people. I never saw him again. There are things that we are just not meant for, if we don't realize this. Old man, your words may be very wise, but my father is in danger and I need your help. I know. I can see it in your eyes. You really are just like your father. I also warned him, but he didn't want to listen to me either. He entered the cursed realm of the Ogdi. The evil thunderbirds that had been sent to cause endless sickness since the year of the great catastrophe. Your father ignored my warning, and his companion must have paid dearly for it. I know that I cannot stop you, so I will tell you where your father had his camp back then. Follow the northern path until you reach the swamps, and you will find what you are looking for. But always remember my words. Be careful in everything you do. Things happen here that no one can even begin to imagine. The Evan was right. The atmosphere here is real strange. So unreal. 
even if perhaps a good portion of superstition is involved, I have a strange feeling here. And then the story with the Thunderbirds and the endless sickness. Pull yourself together, Nina. You're just exhausted. There are no Thunderbirds and any phenomenon, no matter how mysterious, can be explained rationally. Hopefully. That must be the site that the old man spoke of. My father started his expeditions from here. Maybe I'll find an explanation here of how the events of the past link with the kidnapping of my father. It won't work without electricity. An 8mm film projector, considering its age and the fact that it's not professionally handled here, it is not in bad condition. There is obviously no more fuel in it. That would have been too good. A generator, supplying the hut with power. An old drinking water tank. That must be the research station that the transit train was supposed to be going to. Has it even arrived there at all? The research station is certainly impressive. It even has its own runway. And probably just as impressively secured. I can forget getting in there. I'm not even sure that I want to go in anyway. After all, I have heard and read about this station and the place it was built on. Anyway, the station does radiate a certain fascination. Not a positive one. And the longer I look, the more I get the shivers. I better make my way back. There's a lot to do, and I still don't know what secret out of Daddy's past is concealed here. The whole station looks like out of a science fiction movie. Hardly believable, considering that it has been here for several decades. Will its secret ever be revealed to me? Wow, what a monster! I have to ask, even if I'm talking to myself, how did that thing get here? This has been plundered. Everything that can be taken off and carried is gone. There are only two small nuts here, and I am having them. There still seems to be a bit of diesel oil in there. Hmm. 
Hmm, there is still plenty of vodka in there. If I want the one spirit, I think I will have to get rid of the other. Nastarovia. Oops, I think I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> That's what I call quality craftsmanship. Over 50 years old, and it still works like it did when it came out of the factory. I'll hold both nuts close to the coils, but not too close, otherwise I'll be toast. As a result, they seem to have become magnetized. The nut is magnetic. It's amazing what you can buy these days. As an obedient little housewife, of course I know what my duties are. There, finished. Shall I make dinner now as well? I know, the window is not completely clean yet, but that will have to do it for now. The rag is soaked through. A bit of petroleum still seems to be in there. I would never have dreamed that one day I would clean out a chimney from the inside. There is nothing special to see, but then again, it is pitch black in there. I'll light the lamp. Now that the suit is off, I can see numbers written on it. Seven and a half, three, ten and a half, six. That's strange. Obviously, the compass needle only moves when I press the button. I seem to have triggered a mechanism, but nothing has happened yet. <laughs> 